this time on Custom Works, we're getting ready to scrape the road. Let's get to the workshop. This time on Custom Works, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at potential problems that might go wrong. First, smashing the whole front end off the car because it's made of fiberglass and it literally sits on the floor. We've got to address that. And also, sort of water splashing around underneath. Because we've took nearly all the floor and everything out of this car, the underside, yes, yeah, still not quite there that we could drive down the road in the rain and not worry. So, let's get to the workshop, or rather the ramp earlier on this week and see how all of that went. Under the 60s truck, lots of problems, lots of gaps. You know, this is the wrong body for the wrong vehicle. Here's a real problem. We need to get air through there, and but, so we need a panel that's gonna fit on here. And th that is also removable, because of course the steering box is here. So we need a removable panel just there. But that is a brand new steering box, right? Just there, yeah, brand new. Because it's taxi and um, they're always leaky and uh, just rubbish. Now, I think they're on the British parts of the car. Yeah, I'm gonna make a cover that fits in there. So first up, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and make the hole I've gotta make the removable bit for, just a little bit tidy. You know, I don't want it so it's sticking up here. So I'm gonna get some um, dye bond into these bits and then, and I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think once I've done that, then I'll think what my next step's gonna be. But that is a complicated sort of area to make something to cover it. And don't forget, it's all gotta be quite tight in here because the car sits so low. You know, this the, the, the wheel well is indeed full of wheel. So we wanna still be able to, you know, get full lock on the steering and everything. So, what's going on with that? Let's make it happen. Here's the hole. There's a steering box again. And I've panelled this out. And if you stretch your plates, you tack screws and stuff, just gotta keep the water out. So, put these in. And then what I've done here Shame it's yellow on yellow, but I've put strips all the way around this and they're gonna come off. And what I've done there, I've just put, I've glued them on with a bit of mic to fix, just a little bit to keep them there. And now what I'm gonna do is fill this sort of gap. I'll fill that, fill this gap, fill in here. And then with silver tape, I can go over the, um, the steering box and it will be a cover that is tight to the room we've got rather than being just a you know if I just bought a box out here well the wheel's going to catch it so getting it just as tight as we possibly can so got all them on I'm going to cut some bits stick them in there and then we can move on to the next stage so now we are totally covered in but this is just so fragile you know it's like an eggshell it's just all I might fix together so what I'm going to do now I'm gonna go around all of these edges, all in here, everywhere, and make this piece strong, and then I can snap it out, take it to the bench, glass over it, and then we'll make it so it just bolts in and out. If you're uh, the person that ever um, swaps this steering box and I've gone to all this effort, then um, you're welcome. I've done put some glass on it. All the bit that's gonna come away should come away now, and all the other bits should just stay there. So, here we go. Once it's away, I'll get it on the bench, properly glass it up. Ho oh, ho ho ho! It's a bit of movement now, I'll glue that. Obviously it's not gonna be full strength now, but there it is, like, that's my removable panel right there. You look at that and it looks quite simple, but once it comes off, it's just so complicated. I can trim all this out at the back, make it a little bit nicer so we're never gonna get anything actually catching if anything moves. But yeah, there it is. There's the guard for the steering box. And that can always, we'll tech screw that in, so we can always take it out and that part 
can be oh no service replace probably have to be replaced after about half an hour they are the worst steering box in the world always leak although this one is a brand new so hopefully this won't be uh, moving for a long long time maybe never since i removed it i bought it in here got it on the bench and it's now had a few good coats of fiberglass so it is super strong and what i need to do now is just trim it back so i need to get all these sharp bits off they are really really sharp fiberglass gives you a horrible splinter and i'm going to trim these bits back inside they, they don't need to be there and it'll make it fit all better so I'm going to clean it up, just sand all the edges off, cut these bits out, and then pretty much until we black the bottom of the car, that's it, it's done. I'll drill some holes around here and just tech screw that into place, and our steering box and all those precious things will be safe from the splatter of the wheel, and also ain't going to get in the way of that tight sort of turning circle. There's a lot of wheel under that arch, and it's very, very low, like the whole wheel is in there. So, let's get to this. Let's get it looking a lot tidier. Let's have something that's done. nice and trimmed ready to screw on the car and because of how this is made I know this is gonna fit and it's gonna fit perfectly well the car will just work better for a lot longer with things like this covered well just like a normal car why we're here under the 60s truck we've also done the exhaust so here is this is original taxi to here and then we've come off of there and hung on these bobbins, we just used bits of flat and bobbins. That is the back box from the E36 that we stripped down for the Mercedes project. That's a back box off that. This is one of the catalytic converters off that E36 as well. And then that is welded into this Suzuki rear box off the back of a motorbike. The bloke who's having this car wants it to be really, really quiet. This really is quiet. In fact, the exhaust is so quiet, it's like the engine sounds more clattery as a diesel. But I'm sure once we've got all the bonnet fully done and that, that won't be as loud. But this is really quiet. And I know I've put a catalytic converter in, but to get one of these old taxis through the MOT without some sort of cat, like I've put them on off courses and all sorts. As long as a cap there, it will just bring it down and you'll always get through on the MOT. But I did try once and the bloke was like, nope. So there you go. But yeah, there's our exhaust. And it's all on these bobbins, double bolted. It's never going to catch the floor because these bits are lower. You know, so even at full drop, this is still sort of tucked in this sort of upside down valley of precious bits. Other things under the 60s truck that are done. All of this, of course, is the end of those big skids it's got underneath it. We've got the battery here running to a split charger because there's just so much stuff on this that moves and is sort of um, animated. We've also got another battery, which is just here. So the reason we've got the, we've got the two batteries is obviously one starts the car, makes the car work, and then the other one is going to help with all the other bits like the bike unloader, just all of that stuff. And just so that you know, at the end of a weekend at a show, you don't try to start the car and it won't start because you blaze the battery on, just messing with all the cool stuff. So we've got that all on the split charge system, and we've had to tuck them back in because it seems like a big car until you start putting all that stuff in. We've got a big void just here, and we've got bolts and everything. This is where the air tank's gonna go. We've got a lot of wiring as well. All looking good, all chunked in. We've also got a lot of wiring back here to like, this is the actuator that makes the rear door shut. These are the actuators that lifts the ramp more wiring up there in fact there is just tons of wiring we've also got the twin compressors mounted and these are uh i forget who they make but they're very good and they've got a hundred percent duty cycle so 
this thing should be able to go up and down and dance and dance and dance. And that is where we are. At the front of the car though, this time I welded in this. This is like four before with five mil wool and then that is hung off here on these. Again, ridiculous bits of box section and welded to the chassis and it really is welded on. And then it's strapped to the old bumper mounts, everything. And then we packed all around this with foam. So the whole front of the car, fiberglass foam, and then backed up onto this. But that isn't gonna protect this front edge. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna weld a piece of six mil plate under here, and then, well, let's just do that. And I'll show you how I'm gonna make it fit with this. Right, and so <laughs> we've got this piece of this steel here, this piece of um, like six mil plate, and it really is quite heavy. It's, uh, it really is a two man job. <laughs> and um, we've got to get that under here and then weld it on. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark the four inch off of it, and then we're gonna plasma cut a load of holes in it, and then we're gonna weld it under there. And it's gonna stick out a lot. Maybe I should go that just that like Japanese thing. But they have the really long spoiler sticking out the front, yeah. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. I think you're scaring Richie now. <laughs> Richie, Richie should be scared. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get that up there. And then this car will just be able to drag in the road so well. And you know, nothing's ever gonna be damaged. Like, you know, when we drive it out of here and it's all fully painted and it goes crunch, crunch and out, we'll all be like, ha, 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 it'll be fine because we've got a massive piece of six mil protecting six mil protects everything anyway let's cut some holes then let's get it up there let's get it welded on Massive sheet of steel welded on there, yeah, because I don't want to, you know, sand this back to the shape. I'm going to run round it all with the plasma cutter. But first, we've just got to lower the car down a little bit. Here it comes. Stay when you're happy. Yeah, beautiful. Right then. Now to plasma all of that off there. White's on the car. I'm going to be using the car as the guide for the plasma. All of it though, so now we're gonna try and like eh, 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 wobble and knock it off. Right, so that's it. Wow, that was that was just so much plasma cutting. Now we've got this super hard front edge on the bumper, so all this fiberglass will be protected. What I'll do now, I'll tidy that up with the grinder, get it all nice and smooth, 
and then I can fill down to it. And then what I'll probably do is just run a bit of like flexible sealant around that edge just so there's not always a crack there because this is gonna hit the ground, it's gonna drag in the road and it's gonna look cool, but the car is not gonna get damaged. Wow, there we have it. We have the 60s truck actually indoors again. Um, it was out on the ramp for a couple of weeks and we've been pushing it in and out of here, but we've actually got it in the tent area ready for a lot of bodywork. Like I'm going to straighten the whole thing out. I've already started. If we come around here, you can see. So, I've pretty much got this about right across here, this side of the bonnet. I'm in the foothills of a perfect panel gap here, you know. I've I'm, I'm really been working towards that. Of course, we've got the wheel spat off at the minute, but a lot of this is coming together well. And also, we've got some actual bodywork here. You know, we've got panel gaps and things are coming along well. One thing we have found on this though, is when the air goes, we've got some flex in the car. And we can tell by, if you put your fingertips in the gaps, like this gap here, it's tight now. But if I let the back down, and I can show you that. And we can see there, I don't know if you could see on film, but it does move, the gap does move. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna brace from the back down to the chassis well like a roll cage really we'll do that but for now it's pretty you know it's fine to start the um the bodywork on and over the next few weeks we're going to be getting a lot of bodywork done on the 60s truck okay then so that's all we've got time for this week i'll be back next week i think i'll be back because it's the big show the show that i judge at the best in britain show which is moved to, where is it cast? Lincoln Showground, I think. Lincoln Showground, that's the one. The Nationals at Lincoln Showground. So I'll be there judging them cars and we'll do some filming from the show. I'll show you some stuff from the show and I reckon I'll probably get a bit done on this this week. Oh yes. Anyway, that's it, it's over. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. All of those things. I'll see you next week. I thank you very much and good night.